This piece of raffia string is 20 centimeters long. Depending on how I cut it, I can make a rectangle that is 2 by 8 centimeters wide, 6 by 4 centimeters, or even half a centimeter by 9.5 centimeters, which is a really thin rectangle. But what's the largest rectangle I could make with this string? To most people's surprise, it would be a square of 5 by 5 centimeters, with a maximum area of 25 square centimeters. In other words, if I were to paint the inside of this rectangle, I would use more paint than any other rectangle I can make with this piece of string. But why is it a square? Can it not be any other shape? The main reason is because of something known as quadratics, which is Latin for square. Today, I will show you how the string, quadratics, parabolas, and the turning point come together to reveal the square as the best shape. G'day guys, this is the math base. So here we have a string which is 20 centimeters long, right? For now, we won't assume the square is the best shape, but it would be some sort of rectangle, which also includes the possibility of a square. So this rectangle would be of a certain width and height with a perimeter of 20 centimeters, since we use the entire string to make it. And the way we find perimeter is by adding its width and height together twice. This equation can then be simplified and rearranged to show how the width is calculated using its height. Just as a side note, you may also write the height in terms of width instead. Your work might look somewhat different because you're working with w instead, but the outcome should be the same. It's important to note that perimeter is not the main character of the story. Area is. So this equation we just found is what I call the support relationship. It's meant to help support the main equation, which is the area equation. The support relationship is almost always found from the question, either by a given value like the perimeter of a rectangle or the total surface area of a cube. Or it is given by a proportion such as the width of a rectangle needing to be four times the height. More often than not, the support relationships only have one or two unknowns in it. Now let's address the main character of the story, the area equation. The area of this rectangle is the product of its width and height. Using our support equation, we can substitute w for 10 minus h, which expands into 10h minus h squared. We're going to draw a graph, so if you're not comfortable with the factor form, you might want to arrange it into the standard form with coefficients negative 1, 10, and 0. A quadratic equation, or in Latin, better known as the square equation, forms a curvy shape when drawn on a graph. This shape is known as a parabola. There are at least three ways to draw a parabola. So if you would like to know more about that, let me know in the comments below. But just briefly, given that the a value is negative, it implies a negative parabola with a maximum when the height is, say, x. To find this x, we can use the axis of symmetry formula, negative b on 2a. You can also use the factor form to find x, so perhaps you guys can try it out that way and let me know what you find. But using this method, all we do is substitute 10 and negative 1 in to see it evaluate to 5 centimeters. This would be the height that achieves the maximum area. Coming back to our support relationship, we calculate w to be 5 centimeters as well. That means our rectangle must be a square and multiplying them together gives us our maximum area of 25 square centimeters. Isn't that amazing? In theory, we could even apply this to something obscure like using a limited amount of netting to surround a school of fish within a rectangular perimeter. So if you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please leave a like and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't joined the channel yet, you can help me out by subscribing and sharing this with your friends. And ring the bell to stay tuned for the next one. Thanks guys, see you next time.